I saw this on TikTok a while ago. I bought myself my own microscope. And this is what we see on the screen. Look, there's bugs in your strawberry. Dun, dun, dun. Today, we are bringing back the microscope let's hope i don't lose my appetite or never eat again i don't want to see any bugs what is up everybody it's your girl me if you don't know me and welcome back to this channel or welcome to this channel if you are a brand new face here i looked at my fridge i had to see the things that i eat up close if you haven't watched my part one please do i'll link it in the description but i did see some nasty stuff in part one so please go watch it but before we further get into the video make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for brand new and more videos please comment down below what should i do next i really want to make this a series very interesting having this thing you comment down below anything you like it doesn't have to be food today we're gonna be looking and zooming into this thing rainier cherry yeah, they taste so good they taste sweeter less sour than the regular red ones green beans these are pre-washed says on the package so we'll see how clean it is i usually wash it even though it says pre-wash i don't trust these things um and some other stuff that i haven't thought about yet let's get started oh yeah if you guys are wondering um cherries because i probably said it wrong this is the package and this is what it looks like recommend everybody to try it unless we do find bugs in here these from costco they're in season now i do see some bruises and scrapes with the naked eye but let's zoom up close it's shiny so far nothing oh what i just saw some hair on there oh it's the stem Oh my god, I do see some dots on the stem. I do not know what it is. Kind of looks like a belly button. Okay, the nastiest part I'd say if you zoom into is probably the stem of it. Okay, I'm going to move over to the wash cherry. I soak these in salt water for 20 minutes. It's shiny, it's reflective because of the water that is left over, but so far, I hit it right where the stem is. Sometimes it's very difficult to navigate with these microscopes, but we're looking pretty good and pretty clean. Those dots are gone. Those dots might be bugs, those dots might be eggs, in the other cherries so thank god we washed it that being said this is so good they're so sweet mm, let's move on pre-washed green beans let's hope we can trust this and let's zoom oh it's hairy yeah damn did not realize it was that hairy up close. It looks pretty wet. I think it's because it's trapped in the bag. It was wet. Kind of looks like a, a huge caterpillar zoomed up close. Cause it's green, but it looks pretty damn clean. Okay, I'm gonna snap the green bean in half and we can zoom in to see what it looks like. This, oh my god, zooming in my nasty finger. I promise my fingers are clean. It almost looks like it's gelatinous or something. It looks like aloe vera. Okay, next thing we got is a block of Parmigiano cheese. So strong, like it's going up on the nose. Damn, that is strong. We'll see if we're craving some Parmigiano chicken after this. It would be even more interesting if I had blue cheese because you do see the specks of mold hmm so far it just looks the same maybe some like marks from like cutting it or grating it but i thought it'd be interesting it does look a little oilier though i must say nothing special yeah 
I wish I had blue cheese to see how it looks like close up. I used to don't like blue cheese because just looking at it, it just looks nasty. It ended up growing on me as I got older and now I could eat it with wings, like the dipping sauce. Maybe not on salads, like just the block of blue cheese, but just, just sometimes. Like if it's a blend with something, I'm able to eat it. Now my hands smell like cheese. I got some asparagus beginning to go bad. How you know that it's going bad is because it starts getting like slimy. Pieces of here start coming off very easily. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's zoom up into this asparagus. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, I see some dirt. Okay, in the tips of the asparagus, where the spears are, if you look in between where that stem is, you could see, what the heck is that? Oh my God, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna lose it, I'm gonna lose it, I'm gonna lose it. Why does it look like a tiny spider? Hopefully this is a dead bug, if it is a bug, because it's been in my fridge for quite some time. If I could find it. But yeah, this is the part that's starting to go bad because it's a darker green. Man, where the heck did it go? I gotta find this. I did find the spot again. There, I have no idea what that thing is right at the corner, but it does look like there's some stringy, maybe like spores coming out. It could be some mold that's growing, which is that white area down there. But that little dot with the brown is very questionable if it is a bug or not. I don't know what that is. Is that a spider? Yeah, it's too small to see that bottom of the asparagus root. Very, very dry. Looks spongy. Hmm, interesting. I'm right, gonna look into some pistachios. These are my favorite. If you don't wanna ruin your fingernails, if it's like close to being closed like this, use another shell, make your way through with it, fidget around, and then it should open up. Use this movement and dig in and then it would pop up. There's a hat. All right, good friend pistachio. I'm gonna see you real up close. Let's hope we don't see anything disgusting with it, please. I see the salt on it on the outside of the shell. And in between there, it made it through. Not as terrifying as my finger there. Nothing to really be concerned about. You could see this with your own eyes. But I must say, it does look like a desert up in here. I think that's the outer shell of the nut meat. Very happy that I didn't see anything nasty with that. We're gonna do some lemons. One lemon that is pretty much fresh and just cut. And the other one I left in the fridge for a few weeks now and it's become moldy. Can't imagine how nasty it looks up close. You can see the, the lemon pores, is that what you freaking call them? Lemon pores? It's looking like some skin pretty much. Okay, let's look at the stem. Far looking like the other fruit stems or veggie stems that we found. Let's look at the pulp, the insides of it. What is that, is that the seed? Oh, that's the seed. What happens if I squeeze it? Lemon squeezy. The pulp of the lemon is bursting when I squeeze it. Now I'm just making a mess here. The nasty one, moldy, rotten lemon. It's more softer, more tender. And like I said, you could already see the mold. Ew. I think this is what the cheese would look like if it was blue cheese. Ugh. Yuck, this needs to go right in the trash. Look at all those spots. The orange spots, you see some green and some brown and some spores growing out of it. Oh, that is gross. Okay, I really need to wash my hands after this. I'm not, it's not that nice yellow no more. Ew, you definitely get sick if you eat this. 
Okay, let's look at the pulp. Eee, look how fluffy this mold looks. Looks like a cotton ball, a gray cotton ball. Eh. Throwing this away right now. I'm really relieved that I didn't see a full out bug. Maybe that was a bug in the asparagus, but let's, let's, let's trick my mind and pray that it isn't. Make sure to wash your asparagus tops because we did see some dirt. We did see some dots in the cherry stem, so make sure you wash that as well. The green beans can be trusted, but I'm still gonna wash them either way if it says pre-wash or anything on there. I just wanna be sure that it's clean. After seeing the bugs in the strawberries, we've got some trust issues. Anyways, make sure you guys comment down below what should I Put underneath the microscope next what do you guys want to see but i'm gonna end the video here i love you guys so much take care of yourself take care of your loved ones and i will see you in the next video bye guys make sure to subscribe